the Caesar of Concessions is back with another video for you today. And we're gonna be talking about how important it is to be flexible and have various menu options within your business. And I'm gonna give you uh, an example of something that happened to me yesterday, which happens quite often. And I've been in the business a long time and experience has taught me this. Okay, so let me just kind of break this down for you. Yes, we, we do concession stands at youth sports parks, primarily. You know, we, we do mobile events and stuff like that, but most of our events are at youth sports parks. We had a massive tournament uh, this weekend at a couple different locations, okay? And um, the morning, say from 8 a.m. to about one in the afternoon, it was about 75 degrees, light wind, beautiful blue skies, warm. It, it was actually, the weather was, was absolutely perfect. So, as you can guess, lemonades were flying out the window, slushies were flying out the window, snow cones, hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that were just going, and, and iced tea were just flowing out the window. So, and, and it was incredible, and, and it was a, a great morning and mid-afternoon. But then, about 1.30 to 2.30, it started raining, and a cold front came through, and the temperature dropped from 75 to 40 degrees in a matter of an hour to an hour and a half with 20 mile per hour wind. So the real field temperature was like 35 degrees in a span of an hour, two hours, whatever, and the temperature just plummeted which also meant that lemonade towels, slushy, snow cones, hot dogs, stuff like that, those items, those sales plummeted. But because of my experience, right, in, in this business and dealing with springtime weather in the Midwest, um, you know, this happens every year, you know, that we get some days like this. And you really, it's hard to predict that leading up to an event, right? They, they can't predict that typically a week out. Um, you now, you might get it a day or, or two uh, from the weather forecasters uh, that that's going to happen. But, you know, when, when, you're, when we buy our inventory, we buy it a week out, uh, a week prior to the event, just to make sure that if we miss anything, we have the rest of the week to, uh, to go back and purchase uh, whatever we need. So anyway, I digress. So the temperature dropped, you know, 30, 35 degrees in a matter of two hours. I mean, right, right now it's 43 degrees and it's windy and it's cold here. Um, but because of my experience, um, and this is why experience is such, you know, a huge factor and why new vendors, you know, fail before they get the experience because experience is the best teacher. I knew that this happened. So I had a bulk of hot chocolate mix ready. I had a ton of pretzels ready for when these type of things happen. And, and our uh, rotisserie coffee uh, that we purchased. And we had a bulk of that. Even though we're headed into summertime, I keep a bulk of that primarily uh, stored away for this type of situation. So even though my sales plummeted from, you know, the, the iced teas and the lemonades and stuff, what started selling immediately when that temperature dropped? Hot chocolates, coffee, hot pretzels with hot nacho cheese on the side, right? And so, you know, we, we sell our hot chocolates for three to four dollars depending if you want to do special stuff with them and, and and a profit margin is just about as good as it is with lemonades so we're not losing much there and the pretzels ha have a very high profit margin and we were and those things were just going at all locations so due to my experience and being able to have additional inventory of these products put back expecting these type of situations to occur, 
um, we were able to shift our menu just straight away and go from, you know, a menu for hot weather to a menu for cold weather within minutes and just switch up the menus totally. So that way we are, are still making money and being extremely profitable. And how does this, you know, help you as a vendor? Well, if you're just selling lemonades and that's all you do and you go through a situation like this we're at an event and a temperature starts plummeting you're thinking what on earth could i do this is why you should sell multiple products and being able to be diverse with your menu in an instant it doesn't take much guys to have a couple urns you know in your you know in your truck or your trailer or whatever ready to go just in case and it doesn't hurt to have pre-mix of hot chocolate i mean if you want to use swiss Smith, fine no big deal whatever right have your hot chocolate mix ready to go and it keeps for so long so you are not out if it doesn't sell that weekend or the next weekend it stores fantastic so it's so important to be diverse and flexible because that's what's gonna make you money. If you're just so steadfast that I'm only gonna sell lemonade and I'm not gonna sell anything else, well, when this happens to you, you're out of business. You're not making any money. And everybody else around you who is flexible and has experience with these situations is going to be making your money and taking food out your baby's mouth, right? Because you weren't flexible or you were too you know, hard headed and you're set in your ways that you're only going to do one thing. And, you know, this isn't a rant or to get on anybody. This is just to help you. Now, if you're in, you know, the southern portion of the country, you know, deep south or Florida, this is probably irrelevant to you, honestly. But if you're above that, this is going to happen to you. If you're above that line, this situation will happen to you probably every year. If not, once to five times a season before summer finally wins and takes over so in closing here guys i think it's important to look at your menu and and just go through the what ifs in your mind as you're strategizing your business as to see what can you do if the weather does this if the weather does that and being able to flip your menu in a second so you are still making revenue that you're just not sitting there twiddling your thumbs, making nothing because you only sell one product. The Caesar of Concessions, out.